the real reason why Vince Welch is out from NASCAR. Typically, the off-season is a rather slow period of the year for television. Nothing much happens as everyone unwinds during the holidays before getting ready for another grueling season. This year, not as much. You're going to notice at least one significant change in 2023 with relation to Fox's NASCAR coverage. Vince Welch will no longer be present. But what is the real reason why he is out from NASCAR? Let's find out. Hello NASCAR fam and welcome back to NASCAR Live. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. And now, let's begin. Veteran NASCAR reporter Vince Welch shocks fans by announcing on social media that he is no longer working at Fox. After eight years, Welch does indeed seem to be leaving Fox Sports. After working for ESPN for just over 12 years, initially covering the NTT IndyCar series, and then transitioning to covering NASCAR when the sport returned to the network in 2007, he first joined Fox Sports. Welch worked as a play-by-play -play announcer for college basketball, in addition to covering NASCAR for Fox Sports. Certain professions allow personalities to resume where they left off rather easily. Welch, however, does not have many possibilities that would enable him to continue competing in motorsports. Having said that, his ability to call several sports will mean that this change is unlikely to spell the end of his career. He might eventually land a lower profile position for a spell, possibly announcing college basketball games that occasionally air on networks like Sportsnet New York, like Alan Bestwick does. The three broadcasts of the NASCAR National Series will change as a result of Welch's departure from Fox Sports. For instance, Welch frequently reported from the pits during broadcast of the NASCAR Cup Series. Josh Sims will probably receive a call-up as a result of this action to begin working on Cup broadcast. Sims is the one who, if anyone in NASCAR broadcasting, benefited from the COVID-19 outbreak. He covered sports for WJZY, Fox 46, and Charlotte previously, although he wasn't all that well-known in the field. Then WJZY collaborated with WGHP Fox 8, the Fox affiliate in Greensboro, North Carolina, to produce a few locally produced TV programs at Darlington Raceway and Charlotte Motor Speedway. Next Star Media Group, the second largest owner of local TV stations in the nation, is the owner of both stations, with only Sinclair Broadcast Group being bigger. The network executives were able to see what Sims might achieve by syndicating these shows to other Next Star owned stations around the nation. He was hired by Fox Sports in less than a year. Since that time, he has worked with NASCAR Race Hub and started his career as a pit reporter, starting with truck broadcasts before earning the chance to cover NASCAR Xfinity Series last year. Fox Sports doesn't really have much of a bench when it comes to on-air personalities because of all the departures in previous years. Sims will therefore probably get the call to participate in Fox's Cup broadcast this year. The broadcast would benefit from Sims in the pits. He has proven to be a diligent worker and a true professional. Without Welch, Sims, Jamie Little, and Reagan Smith will probably have more work to do on Saturdays in the Xfinity Series. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series will see major changes. With few exceptions, Welch has been the play-by-play -play announcer for truck races on Fox Sports 1 since 2016. After a chaotic 2015 season in which Welch served as one of the series' no fewer than five play-by-play -play commentators on FS1, he ultimately secured the position. As a result of Steve Burns' cancer diagnosis and inability to work, he was forced to fill Rick Allen's position in the booth, which led to that circumstance. The broadcast had a fragmented feel since early in the year. Mike Joy, Brian Till, Ralph Sheehan, and Adam Alexander all contributed. Welch's first opportunity to call a race was the Pocono Mountains 150 at Pocono Raceway in July. That went smoothly, it appeared. He received a full-time position with Fox for 2016 after winning a few more events. There is a significant probability that Little will be handed the play-by-play -play position for the upcoming season now that Welch is out of the running. The truck race at Knoxville Raceway last year marked Little's debut in the booth. There's a very good probability that she will be given the chance to be on play-by-play -play for the entire season because Fox Sports is very unlikely to hire anyone to replace Welch. Moving on from Welch's decision, Sports Business Daily's Adam Stern tweeted on November 22, 2022, that Fox Sports is probably going to keep a rotating third booth slot in 2023. 
depending on how you look at it, 12 or 13 different persons shared that space in 2022. Only a few occasions throughout the whole year did Clint Boyer and Mike Joy have the same guest commentator in the broadcast booth for back-to-back -back shows. The frequent change is not a good thing, even if Joy and Boyer are likely familiar with most of the people who were in the booth with them. Due to the problem of Fox's inability to find a long-term replacement for Jeff Gordon, it will never fully have the same level of familiarity that announcer teams enjoy in almost every other sport. In essence, Fox deliberately makes life difficult for itself. But why? According to Stern's tweet, after Kevin Harvick retires, Fox will be after him. Since 2023 is Harvick's contract year, that wouldn't be an awful decision. Does he want to retire? That's the question. That is uncertain. Would he be interested in the position if he were to retire after this upcoming season? That we don't know either, and maybe if we asked him, he most certainly wouldn't divulge that information. We do know, though, that he will perform admirably if he truly wants to be there. Meanwhile, after Vince Welch made his intention known to leave Fox Sports before the 2023 season, the NASCAR Truck Series will have a new lap-by-lap -lap commentator. Welch leaving the booth is regrettable, but it will be exciting to watch who replaces him. Adam Alexander will take over the same position he currently holds in the NASCAR Xfinity Series and become the new lap-by-lap -lap announcer for the Truck Series, claims Jim Utter of Motorsport.com. Throughout the course of the season, viewers of the Xfinity Series races and NASCAR Race Hub have come to love 49-year-old Alexander, who is a superstar in the Fox Sports family. As the majority of the series undergoes substantial changes from the booth to where drivers will be competing this season, the NASCAR Truck Series is rumored to have a new voice. The mystery surrounding the Fox Sports booths throughout NASCAR will be explored as the 2023 season approaches, and it looks like this season will be successful again. On the other hand, Kevin Harvick participated in the first episode of the season of the Stacking Pennies podcast, which is hosted by Corey LaJoy and Ryan Flores, before he returns to the NASCAR Cup Series circuit in 2023. I, I have one more year of uh, full-time NASCAR Cup Series racing. I shouldn't say full-time. I'm at the end of the year. I'm done cup racing. I'm not gonna. That was one of the things that I wanted to accomplish was not to retire, then unretire, then come back and run three or four races. What that legacy is when we get to the end of 2023, that's that's what it is. So you know, we've we've tried to develop a a great. Um, plan to show appreciation to the sponsors and the team members and the people and, and uh, the fans for everything that everybody's done. But as a business owner, when I own teams, if I would have got up on the stage and said, I'm done at the end of 23 and hadn't told anybody, I'd have been in big trouble. Mm. So, you know, for, for us, this has really been a plan that's kind of taken place over the last year and a half and took a while to put it all together. And it's just, it's to the point where I need some flexibility to spend more time with my kids, uh, to be able to go watch Keelan race more, to watch Piper uh, decide what she wants to do and how she grows up, to help Delana make sure that they do what they're supposed to do in school. They go to school upstairs. Uh, so you, you wind up being the principal as well. And, but I, I'm just, I'm, I'm at a point where it's, I'm fortunate to be able to have accomplished a lot of things in, in the sport. I feel really comfortable with, with where I'm at as far as what, what I've been able to do. And there's just other things that, that I want to do I still want to I still want to race I, I love being a part of the teams I love would love to look into trying to be more of a part of a team as as we go forward I, I just I really want to spend more time with my kids so we've restructured the business side of things with with KHI management we'll open up some different businesses along the way as you saw we bought the uh, part of the group to, that bought the cars tour and, and being able to to be a part of that drive the car race with the guys and gals that that are that are in the tour and and I love racing and there's no hiding from the fact that that we are a racing family and and have grown up around it have been around it and you know we'll we'll fall into my grave a, a part of it so you know that's just um, what what we like to do and you know you know, we've, we've talked about not doing this and not doing that with our kids, but here we are. And that ends today's episode. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos.